Hello, my name is Ari Romero and I'm here a part of First Generation Farmers and we're here today to show you how a four pallet compost bin system works. So what we have here is uh, four separate stages and what you do is you make piles of compost. So before you throw anything in, you get a big pile of nitrogen, which would be your leafy greens, uh, real moisture kind of stuff, and then you get piles of carbon, which what we have there is sticks, leaves, wood chips, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then you start by creating one pile together and put it in this first stack here, and then you want to turn it about four to five times in the first 10 days. It's a very essential part. Uh, it's really easy to remember, just about every other day you turn it. And then you can start bringing it over to the next one, and you can see it's kind of what we have here. Uh, it's, it's the beginning of decomposition. Uh, you can't really see the leaves anymore. And then you bring it on over to the third one. This is about after uh, about another 10 days of turning. And keep it in here. You can see a little bit more decomposition going on in this one. We're closer to the soil. And then after that, I'd say about one more week in there. And you got some finished product right in there. Some beautiful black gold soil. So what we have here is a real simple invention. After you get your finished product, uh, what you want to do is sift it. You're going to have a lot of leaves and a lot of hay or whatever it may be left over, whether it's wood chips. Uh, so what you want to do is just take some chicken wire and find some 2 by 4s and just kind of screw it in um, and make a nice little sheet and just you can set that on a wheelbarrow and sift it through and you'll have a finished product. If we can lift this up here and show everybody. <laughs> and you have a much finer uh, growing medium than you would have on top here. So it's actually a very beautiful system of composting. What you're doing is you're taking all your waste and you're converting it to uh, a resource. And that resource is dirt. So you're taking all, uh, all of your uh, food waste, except for stuff like uh, meats, uh, eggs, milk, dairy products, uh, anything that's really cooked is probably uh, not good. But you take all your raw veggies and you throw them in here and you wind up with a nice product so you're not wasting it. Uh, an essential part of a compost system is to make sure that you're keeping it watered. I'd say water about every other day, do about a gallon uh, per pile. So right here what, is what I have a kind of called like an accelerator for a compost. And what you do is uh, after you make, take all your piles and combine them together, what you're going to do then is put them in a fencing like this. It's real simple, just chicken wire. And I've got a rebar holding that together. Uh, so it's nothing too complex. I slide that rebar out. And then I remake that into a circle, and then I take everything I have here and flip it back in. And this is the essential part of the uh, the first 10 days. You want to turn it four to five times, and then that way you have the decomposition started. All the bacteria is there. So when you throw in the first one, you're already uh, a week ahead of time. And then that way you kind of utilize your space properly. You're not waiting to make other piles. Uh, everything to kind of mold, and it's a good way to prevent that. So. After you're done composting, you have a finished product, the soil, and the soil has a lot of nutrients and minerals that uh, would be lost after a plant is taken out of the ground. So what you're doing with that is you're taking all that soil and put it, uh, reintroducing it back into uh, what you typically lose. Everything that gets sucked out, you're putting it right back in. And so you can see here, we're kind of working with uh, a real sandy soil. And so the soil amendments for this are really essential. And you can see, just from the roots decaying, we've got a little bit of dirt in there already, but we're going to add some more. And so one of the key things you can do to kind of conserve dirt is uh, throw a handful in there and then just mix a little bit of the old dirt, in our case the old sand, and then just go for it again and kind of do a, a layer but make sure you mix it on up in there. And it's a good way to extend your soil and make the soil amendments last. Very nice. Well, thank you, Ari, for explaining uh, first generation farmer's compost system. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Have a wonderful day, folks. Right on.